Hey y'all, Ayla here. Welcome back to my channel. So this arrived today and I cannot wait. I have to open it. I have to know what's in this. It does say on the back, but I'm not going to cheat and read that. This is the Arteza Premium Craft Advent Calendar for 2023. It says here that it's uh, featuring exclusive artwork by Lauren Quigley. I'm assuming that's who that is. I've never heard of her. Um, but yeah, it's 24 days, creative supplies and inspiration. Oh, I can win a year of art supplies. Hmm. And then up here it talks about some resin, so I'm assuming there's resin in here. If you do not know, Arteza is a paint. I want to say they do markers, colored pencils. I really can't remember. I buy their paints a lot. Um, I love them. They're good quality. So I bought this. Did I buy this on Amazon or did I buy this from Arteza? I can't remember. You can, I'm pretty sure you can buy this on Amazon. That's where I normally buy their product. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is available on Amazon. But I think I did buy it from their actual website. So it looks like this is a sleeve. I can get it to come out. There we go. Okay. Oh. I did not watch any spoilers, so I have absolutely no idea. Um, it's got like a little knitted, knitted, knitted look there, and then this really pretty box. This is really nice, and the ribbon to a tie. Okay, ooh, it's um, not light. I, I like that. So it's 24 days. Where is it? Oh, I stay one right here. I probably should have my glasses on and I don't. Um, oh, here's a little thing to push. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to mess it up. Oh. But I just did. <laughs> I just totally tore it. All right. What do we have here? Oh, my gosh. What is this? piece of ribbon. I don't know what the ribbon is for. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know if this is, it feels like polymer clay. It's a big hefty hunk of it. That's cool. Alrighty, um, day two. I guess each day has, oh, there's words. Oh, yes, here we go. Uh, day one, polymer clay titanium white. Okay. Day two is clay tools. I'm not going to lie, I have these. Well, actually, I don't have one that's star shaped like that. Hmm, okay. Um, day three. Oh, day three is way over here. Am I in camera? No, I'm not. There's day three. Oh, it's a big one. Okay. Oh, well, okay. I thought it was just going to be the hoop, but it's not. And again, the ribbon that you can't really see until you uh, get everything out, but it's a little piece of um, counter cross stitch. Um, Adia, A-D-A-I-D-A -A -I -D -A cloth. I haven't done cross stitch or counter cross stitch in years. But I did enjoy it. I enjoyed the small ones like this. I could keep my attention span on them long enough to do small ones. Um, so that's that's cool. Let's see, day four, day four. Where are you, day four? Oh, I almost said if you see day four, let me know because you know you totally can talk to me through the camera, right? Even though I've already filmed this by the time you're seeing this. But yeah, okay, here we go. Oh. It didn't work. I'm glad that was on camera. Oh boy, what is this? We have a bunch of floss. Those are different colors. That's nice. It looks like it might be full sizes of each one. Got like a magenta, green. I think it might be a black. It's either black or real dark blue. I'm not sure. A red, a light blue, sort of an aqua teal color. Yeah, but it is black. That's cool. Alrighty. What does it say in here? Just embroidery floss. 
So day five is right here. Day five. Ooh, oh, this is uh, a resin mold. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Epoxy resin mold, snowflake. Day six is right here. And this is mica powder. Oh, I love mica powder, y'all. I do. Does it say? No, it doesn't say what color. But nothing says what color. It can be very messy, so I'm kind of opening this in a little bit of fear. Oh, it is safety sealed, so I'm going to leave it safety sealed because um, mica powder is very, very fine. Um, that was a six, day seven, day seven, day seven. I use mica powders in my soaps. That's how I'm familiar with it. Day seven. What is day seven? I, yeah, these things are useless. Oh, I'm not on camera. These things don't work. <laughs> they don't actually wrap them around the item. Oh my gosh, I really wish they did. There we go. I can get to the back. Uh, liquid pigment, mineral green. Okay. I'm thinking both of these are to be used with the, um, the resin. So that was what day, what day was that? Day seven, day eight. Oh, here's day eight. Oh, day eight. Feeling a week. Feel pity. My hand camera, yes, I am. Okay, just barely, but I am. You know, it almost helped. Uh, what is this? Metallic powder. Is that the color? Is that gold? Is that. That might be. Does it say on here? Yep, antique gold. Okay. Oh, oh, day, right? Yes, day nine. Number nine. Number nine is way over here. Awesome, it'll be one. There's another. Ooh, glow in the dark. That'll be fun. Ooh, I can't wait. Uh, day 10. 10 is down here. Oh, looks like, yep, here we go with our resins. Now, I normally do UV resin anymore, which is just all one thing. Um, it's been a long, long time since I've done two-part epoxy, and I've only done it a couple of times. So, this is going to be interesting. So, you have part one and part two, and you mix them together at a certain ratio. Um, I like it when it's half and half, makes life easy. But yeah, so you mix these, you add in colorants, whatever colorant you would add, and then you pour it into there. You have a, a finite number of minutes. Usually it is minutes. <laughs> um, but yeah, that'll be fun. So that was day 10. Where's day 11? Oh, day 11. Oh, this is 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we have over here. We have three days in one right here. Oh, I see why. It's huge. <laughs> oh, I see. They just put them all together. They are three separate things, though. So we have a wood panel for day 11. Just a panel. Day 12 is stencils. And day 13 is felt sheets. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. So you would just put that on the wood there and then paint through it or whatever. Let's see, felt sheets. Got a blue, got a green, a red, and a white. They are uh, stiff felt, not the um, soft, bendy felt. So that was through day 13. So day 14, right next to it. This is a nice advent calendar. I, I'm really pleased with it so far. Okay, so we got some different size um, spongy things. Oop, oop, oop. Okay. Um, that would be used in the stenciling. So that was what day? That was 14. So 15 is right next to it. I like how easy it is to find the days. Alright, we just kind of ripped that, so let's just pull that on the hook. Uh, we have a playful blue acrylic paint. 
this is the kind of thing that I normally get from Arteza is their acrylic paints. So that's, I know from um, years of past experience, this is high quality. So that was day 15. There's day 16 right here. Oh, day 16 is round. Where's the little button to push to get into it up here at the top? It looks like, yes. Oh. Okay, well, huh, maybe it will actually help. Yes, it did actually help. Okay, we've got not one but two round pieces of wood. These will be fun to paint. Yes, I, you might see me do some paint pouring on these. See what else they have in mind for it. Uh, just those wood slices. Uh, day 17 right here. We're not in camera. Let's move it over. Lord, I hope I was in camera when I did that one. <laughs> I'm not sure. Sorry if I wasn't. Day, this really is a big calendar. Day 17. Ooh, we get precious mint green. This is a pearl. I hope you can see that. Yeah, I think it's showing up a little bit at least. This is gorgeous. And it is a 1.1 fluid ounce. And so is this a 30 mils, one basic one fluid ounce. So that was a 17, day 18, or day 18, shaped like a pencil. Ooh, what is this? Glue? Contact glue. Um... Not really sure what they mean by contact glue, but uh, it comes with a little, a little nozzle. You cut that off, which I like because then it has a lid. Uh, quite often they don't have lids, or they don't have good lids, which drives me nuts. So I'm glad that this one does. So that was day 18. Day 19 is right next to it. Oh, sorry, I'm like told to put my arm in the camera, aren't I? All right, here's day 19. Nice big square. Ooh, what's this? What does it say? Acrylic shapes. Okay, I confess I am not sure what you would do with these. Unless they're just meant to be painted, maybe? They have holes. They each have a hole. So that one would be like a, a diamond almost. Then you've got a circle and a triangle. I'm intrigued to find out. I hope there's something that says, or you offer suggestions, because I guess I could do whatever I wanted with it. Um, where's day 20? Oh, here we go. Are we in camera? Yes, we are. <laughs> Just trying to get all this bits out of the way. Where's the little opener? That's a good question. This is a very weird shape for what it looks like. It's like it kind of goes room way over here. Okay. All right, we're just going to push stuff off here. <laughs> oh, well that is nice. Y'all know I'm always losing my scissors. And yes, these are scissors that can be used right or left handed. And I am ambidextrous, so I do things with both hands. So I like that. Oh, this is nice. These feel good. They've got just enough of weight to them. It says Arteza on the side, and I like the, the colors. These are really, really nice. Oh, I'm thrilled with this. What does it, what does it say? Nothing I've chopped it off. Oh, it just says fabric scissors. Okay. So that was a 2021 20, is what I've done here. Good, I am still on camera. We're just gonna rip it like this because I don't see me getting that little well. I don't want to a choice. There we go. Okay. I see, I feel something. I see the ribbon, which is not wrapped around the item. Oh, it is wrapped around. Okay, good. What is this? Um, fabric marker dual tip. Okay. So we have a little chisel, and we have a regular, I don't know what you call that, <laughs> this is a regular end. Okay, so that was day 21, 22 is up here, I am, this is really, I I don't remember how much I paid for this. I'll try to see if I can find out and put it in the description. 
Um, I don't. <laughs> I, surely I can figure it out. Uh, but I'm thrilled with this. I tell you that now. Okay, we have a gold water-based ink acrylic marker. Um, so that was what day? 22. I thought I saw 23. Yeah, 23 is back of here. And we have some, just a little thing of acrylic yarn. Okay. Just white. And day 24. I see right here. I think this is the last day. there one way or another well, I couldn't get a hold of that I'm sure this looks like it's going to be a crochet hook does seem a weird way to end it I think I would have ended like on the scissors or something that it's just a plastic basic I mean you can't get any more basic than this um, I don't want to sound like I'm dissing this. I'm not at all. I am thrilled with everything that I got here. I got paints. I got resins. I got colorants. I got glues. I got wood things. I got yarns. I got molds and sten oops, sorry, <laughs> stencils and wood blocks and felts and, and sponges thingies. Um, sponsors, pounces, whatever, I don't know, my brain stopped working with that. Uh, Glow-in-the-dark powder that can add to resin or paint, I'm sure. And other colorants. I am, I'm thrilled with this. I am absolutely thrilled. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. Um, oh, you know, yeah, I've got this huge block of polymer clay. I mean, this is huge, y'all. This is a big old hunk. I am absolutely thrilled. Oh yeah, and, and clay working tools and, and um, whatever. <laughs> this stuff, needlepoint. Yeah, this is a large variety of things. A um, little bit of crafting for anybody, any level. Uh, now we're going to look and see other any kind of directions, instructions, okay, the box itself is just this on both sides, so let's look at the outer sleeve, there's a little information about this Lauren Quigley person, this is everything that's in the box, daubers, they call them daubers, um, these pouncy things. I do not see, oh, it says learn more about this product. I don't know how to do that, but I think, I think Ron does. I think my husband does have a way to do that. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing, no kind of a guide. That's kind of odd. Huh. I would have thought there would be, there were, there's no pattern for this, so you just make whatever you want with it, I guess. Could probably even do the stencil on this and, and paint onto that. Uh, okay, um, I'm super excited by all of it, by everything. This is awesome. This is so much fun. I wonder if I can do the glow of the dark powder into this. Hmm, I might have to have fun with that. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know what you think. Bye-bye. <laughs>